Hey gang, before you learn any other Dwayne Almond licks, let's learn this one together because this is kind of a flashy sounding one. It's a great sounding one. And once you get the hang of the picking pattern, it's really not that bad. Now, Dwayne used it all over the place, including You Don't Love Me from the Fillmore East album, as well as Mountain Jam, and even on the Layla album in Why Does Love Got to Be So Bad. So let's learn it. The key to this one, as I said, is the picking. All right, so this lick is an A, of course. We're a guitar player, so it's gonna be an A. And it's a major pentatonic lick, so we're gonna play it way up here, starting at the 14th fret, and on the first string, we're going to go all the way up to the 17th, okay? So the key to this one, as I said, is going to be the picking, but let's get the left hand notes down. What we're going to do is bar on the first three strings, so the G string, the B string, and the E string, and we're going to pull off from 17 to 14, and then hit the G string, okay, on 14. So, so that's what it sounds like. Then we're going to do the same thing on the B string, okay? And that's basically the lick. Now there's a second half to it, but let's get the roll on the picking. So the key to this is to always play a downstroke on the G string and always play an upstroke on the other strings, right? Remember, we're only picking once on the strings, so that's a pull off. So pick up on the E string pull off, and then down on the G string. And it's sort of like a roll. Once you get into that roll, you can do it very quickly. You know, I would practice that just that one first. So once you get that down, it's easy to start getting it quicker. Then you do it on the B string. And you just alternate that. And that's the entire first half of the lick. Now the second half of the lick is even cooler and it's even easier. <laughs> At least in my opinion, it's even cooler. It's definitely easier. So let's check out the second half. All right, on the second half, we're just going to be using the B string and the G string. So just keep that bar down there. And we're going to play 15, pull off to 14, and then 17, pull off to 14 on the B string, okay? and alternate by hitting the G string each time. Same picking pattern. And you can get that going really fast because they're on adjacent strings. And there you go, simple as that. Now, make sure that you play it slowly and bring it up to speed over time. Don't try and take it all at once. But once you get this sort of lick, there's all sorts of other things that you can do. You can mix and match on the lick itself. You can play that same sort of thing over different patterns. You know, and even extend. So it's, it's a really cool lick, sounds flashy, and once you get that picking pattern down, you got it made. All right. Hope you enjoyed this little mini lesson. We will see you on down the road.